Hello there, this is a solar smart plant. As you can see here, the leaves of this artificial plant are actually round shaped solar panels. These solar panels will help to charge the plant's battery. The plant has different sensors such as carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, temperature, humidity, light intensity beneath the leaves. So we can monitor these parameters through website and mobile application. The color of the pot changes to white at night. Also it turns to red if any of the parameters goes above the dangerous level. So with this plan we can monitor the environmental parameters and we can take precautions according to the conditions. Now let's see how I made this plan. So first I select the high quality sensors from DF robot which includes AST20 temperature and humidity sensor, carbon monoxide sensor and nitrogen dioxide sensor. Additionally I have used an LDR to detect the light intensity. Then I connected wires to these sensors. Now let's set up the leaves of the plant. For that I 3D printed the leaf base using green color filament. Also we need round shaped solar panels, aluminium rods, heat shrink tubes etc. Detail the making of these leaves you can find from the site. So these are the assembled leaves. As you can see, I have placed the sensors on the bottom of each leaf. Now I made the circuit on a common PCB. I used ESP Dolby as the microcontroller because it has Wi-Fi so we can easily upload data to the cloud. I have just followed the circuit diagram and made the circuit. Here I used a 3D printed port as the base, also this 3D printed base holds all the leaves together. I placed all the leaves on the base and connected the wires according to the circuit diagram. Now I made a battery pack using 4 37 volt lithium ion batteries. Now the total capacity of this pack is about 10 AH. After that, I connected the battery pack to the circuit with a switch, then I connected all the sensors to the PCB. The final step is to enclose everything in the blind port and that's it. I have explained all the programming in the article section. So you can check and download the code and other files from there. After uploading the code to the ESP told me, we can test the working of our plant. Now you can see the readings of carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, temperature, and light intensity on Arduino IoT app. 
Also you can see that the white light is automatically turned on when the surroundings go dark. Now let's test it with some smoke. Smoke means incomplete combustion which means carbon monoxide. You can see that the plant pot color changed to red when the plant is exposed to carbon monoxide. You can monitor the same readings on the website too. So that's all about this project. If you are planning to build similar, you should read the article. You can download all the files related to this project from there. The link is given in the video description. So that's it friends. Hope you enjoyed. I learned something new from my video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.